wind gap back to Delaware Water Gap. Just got a ride down here from Delaware Water Gap. And we're going to Kirkridge for the night. And uh, Wolf Rock should be exciting. It was raining, but it is not now. So as long as it stays mostly dry, I think we're safe to not do the bypass. This little bit is nice. It's uh, steeper than it looks. And the phone, of course, climbing out of wind gap here. Pretty quick, fast climb up, and then the elevation looks pretty manageable. It's just the rocks. Starting to get some views though. Pretty nice. Okay, so this is one of the reasons why they call it Rocksylvania, because even when you're not on like a giant rock formation or giant rock slide, like Knife Edge or Wolf Rocks, pretty much it looks like the rocks are only in the trail. That's not entirely true because there's like rocks over there, but you are basically just watching your feet the whole time. But we have experienced this in many other states, so it's not like it's just Pennsylvania, but I guess it's like most of it is. It's like 80 miles of it in the northern sections. But whatever, it's nice and flat here. So now that we're done with the climb, we just got to do this for six more miles to Wolf Rocks, and those are the real ones, which I'll get footage of, of course. You do get some breaks, but even though it's much better, there's still all these little pointy guys everywhere hiding under the leaves. So you're just always looking where you're going. But it's pretty much totally flat, like I was saying, so not really complaining. Just got to keep your eyes out. Look at all this. Stubbers. And back to the rocks, 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 rocks and rocks and more rocks. Miles and miles and miles of rocks. Pointy rocks, round rocks, big rocks, little rocks, mean rocks, less mean rocks. Rock Sylvania. Okay, we are at the Wolf Rocks Bypass Trail which I heard is nice and flat. However, not turning down wolf rocks. So hopefully it's not too brutal. It's just a mile, or at least it's a mile that way. Right, I suspect we, I won't be able to film very easily when we're doing that. It's like a walk along this spine thing and then Let's see. There we go. That's pretty cool. Woo! Hello. Look at that. That's cool. And then, yeah, we're going to walk along the spine. Pretty neat. Oh, 
Hopefully there's some views up there, but that's okay. We'll get a bunch of those in a little while from the shelter. All right, I'm gonna stop. All right, yeah, there's a nice little view from up here from the, this top part. I'm not gonna climb out on the rock right now, but that would be my view anyway, if I were to be seeing it. All right. Yeah, there we go. Now we got a nice view right here. Gap. We're at Fox Gap here. Uh, about half a mile or less, or around there to the shelter. Check in then. Okay, at the shelter. You still have a view from the shelter. So, we are. Pretty kaput. There's the privy. There's some nice chairs here, which I think we will make the most of. I gotta figure out where the water spigot is though. All right. There's the retreat. Uh, looks like it has an awesome view, um, but I'm not gonna go over there because. Um, all right. Oh, there's the water trail. That's. That's what I was missing. Okay, let's get some water. All right, trying to get a little sunset magic here. Sunset? No? Yeah? A little bit. I think we missed the magic colors. Good night. All right, we're at Nelson's Overlook. Pretty amazing. Looks like people camp here. Wow. It's beautiful. Totally. It's okay. It, it's all dry, so I was able to go right up it. It would not be fun if it was wet. But Roxylvania isn't going anywhere. The Sobos told us it was pretty gentle this way, so hopefully it gets better as we get closer to the gap. Okay, this is the spot known as Lunch Rocks. Very nice. We're headed over that way. I think that's Mincy. So we're gonna go along the ridge and down Mincy. And on the other side is Mount Tammany. That's the over water gap over there. But nice. Okay, we had a nice breakfast at Lunch Rocks because we're like that. And uh, heading off. We're getting views from both sides here, walking through a nice meadow. This is a nice change of pace. I'm gonna keep these short today because I gotta conserve battery. All right, we were, we were on top of Mount Mincy. That is Mount Tammany. Uh, the Delaware is down there, it's Delaware Water Gap. And this is what it's like coming down Mincy or going up as you go on the other way. It's really pretty. I'm not gonna film for long because there's acorns and leaves and rocks. All right, there's the gap. We were up there on Mincy coming down here and there's Tammany New Jersey and there's Route 80 in the Delaware. We just scrambled down that. That was challenging with all the leaves but there's the gap again. Nice review. I think we're gonna turn away from it so wanted to get this. Alright there's one more view. Someone's got a flag down there. I'm not gonna go all the way down there because we gotta be off trail by noon but really nice. Eureka! It's a creek! 
Well, I'm glad that there's a great water source a mile and change from the car, but we have plenty of water. Very pretty though. Check out this bird. There he goes. Yeah. Come on, what are you? Are you an eagle? He was right above me. Now there's a view. Holy moly. I think it was an eagle. And we're going up again. It's a long, long trail down this mountain. The cave up here and a trail up to the cave. Super cool, steep trail. Hard to do with the backpack. Very cool. All right, we're at Lake Lenape here. Looks a little boggy, but it looks pretty. There's some benches for swimming and picnic tables. We are tired though. So we want to get to the car. All right, we're coming to the end of the hike here. This is the Deer Head Inn where we stayed on Monday night for Fielden's birthday. And this is Delaware Water Gap, Pennsylvania. And uh, we have had a tougher than expected morning. That was definitely more challenging than we expected, but very scenic and beautiful. And uh, I definitely recommend staying at this place. We missed the live jazz, which is a bummer because I love jazz and I love live music because I'm a musician. But it was a really nice place to stay and they're very friendly and we'll stay there again and check out the jazz. But we have to go back to Connecticut, so no jazz tonight.